Hello, trivia lovers, and welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Mr. Quister. Today, the topic is geography. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an episode. And right now, it is off to Italy for question number one. You might know that Vatican City is an enclave country, that is, a sovereign state that is fully contained within the borders of another country. Did you know that there is another one that is also in Italy? Well, there is, and it is the Republic of San Marino. Your question is, in which country will we find a third enclaved country, the Kingdom of Lesotho? Is it Germany, the Netherlands, South Africa, or Brazil? And the answer is South Africa. It was at one time a British crown colony, but Lesotho declared independence in 1966 and is now a member of the United Nations. Way to go, Lesotho! This is the Arabian Sea, and it is bounded on the north by Pakistan and Iran. The Baltic Sea is enclosed by Denmark, Estonia, Finland, and Latvia, and about a half dozen other countries. Your question is, which sea has no land borders at all? Is it the Coral Sea, the Sargasso Sea, the South China Sea, or the Labrador Sea? And the answer is the Sargasso Sea. This sea is actually a region within the Atlantic Ocean kind of like an enclave, that is distinguished by being covered with sargassum, which means it can grow and diminish in size. Hey, trivia lovers, I want to thank you for taking five minutes out of your day to watch my video. To me, trivia should always teach something new and be fun, so I hope you find it to be both. Seeing as this is a geography quiz, I was wondering where my viewers might be from. The stats tell me that about a third of you are from the United States, but I'd love to see all the countries represented. So let me know in the comments, and in case you were wondering, I'm from Canada. Now on to question number three. This is Antarctica, without question the southernmost continent. But apart from being in the southern hemisphere, it will also be found within the eastern and the western hemispheres. Your question is, which continent will be found within all four hemispheres, north, south, east, and west? Is it Europe, Asia, Africa, or South America? And the answer is... Africa. The equator runs through it just below about the halfway point, and the prime meridian cuts through on the western side. There is no point on land where you can actually touch all four hemispheres, as these two primes meet in the Gulf of Guinea and east of Gabon. This is the name of a village in Wales. Liam Dutton from Channel 4 News will now tell us how to pronounce it. Just up the road from Clan Byrd Push Gwingish Go Gedek Windrobos, Clan Cecilio Go Go Go. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, that is the second longest one word unhyphenated place name in the world. Number one is this. Right, fine and sunny weather in Teto Matafakatangi Hangaku Waiwo, Utamatea Tsuri Puka, Ka Piki Manga Horonuku Pokai Fenua Kitana Tahu. Your question is in which country will you find the 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 thing that she just said, that one there? Is it Japan, South Korea? New Zealand or Fiji? And the answer is New Zealand. Thank goodness for weather reporters. They can't tell you with anything better than 50% accuracy whether it will rain or not, but they sure do know how to pronounce those weird place names. This is Point Barrow, Alaska, the northernmost place in the United States of America, but nowhere near the northernmost piece of land on Earth. Your question is, in which country will we find the northernmost point in the world? Is it Canada, Russia, Greenland, or Norway? And the answer is Greenland. Café Klubben Island, or Coffee Club Island, was first spotted by Robert Peary in 1900 and is only 713.5 kilometers from the North Pole. 
Okay, trivia lovers, thanks for watching Geography Trivia number one. Number two, coming up soon. Click right here to watch another video and hit subscribe and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode. I'd love to know how you did, so let me know in the comments. My name is Mr. Quister, and don't forget, knowing that you don't know is the first step to knowing more.